All right, boys, we've got a redneck invention to be made. <laughs> I am glad the thing wasn't running when I did that. <laughs> All right, so here's the plan. We're gonna take this angle iron, weld a little box around the motor, and then figure out a way to fasten that box to the front forks of the motorcycle here. I have no idea if it's going to work, but we're gonna give it our best shot. My favorite part is CJ doesn't know we're using his dirt bike for this. So we're gonna show back up to the shop and he's gonna have a lawnmower on the front of it. All right, so Zach's got it mounted up pretty good, welded it to the mower, and now he's making basically these makeshift little, little bearings, if you can see those right here. So once those are welded onto that, then that'll be what holds the forks onto the mower. Hopefully that's enough to hold it on, and uh, we can do wheelies and come down and it won't explode into pieces. Talking about exploding into pieces, these plastic wheels are gonna explode into pieces. Yeah, that'll probably be our first problem. Oh, that's so sweet. I did not think it was gonna look this pretty. All right, boys, me and Evan did a thing. Last time you had it's me in this driveway, I got like a Lamborghini. A, it's not quite that exciting. <laughs> I hope it's okay we use your bike. <laughs> I mean, at least it's kind of a, a utility now. So is this mine then? You know what, now that I think about this, this is a surprise to you, CJ. Well, great, because I need to go mow my lawn yeah, anyway. So. Holy crap, boys, this looks good. Look I can tell you didn't do it because the welds look too nice. Does the mower actually still work? It does because it's a brand new mower. I should start a lawn mowing business with this thing. Imagine that. Oh, I go up, so I like funny. spend all the time getting clients, and then I show up for the first day, like, what the hell is this? <laughs> I'm just like, ah, ah, just ripping through their yard. bad of a job it does when you start getting going fast. It's not about how fast you mow, it's about how well you mow fast. This is true, John Deere actually uh, coined that. how to ride a dirt bike or mow the lawn. I don't know if CJ knows how to do either. You guys built a shitty lawnmower. It can't turn, dude. It's got speed, it just doesn't have handling. It's like you took the worst characteristics of both and put them together. I didn't build it. Are you good? <laughs> okay. The mower was running too when it was upside down for a second. I ripped the tire off. Dude, it's sketch, isn't it? Dude, it's incredibly sketchy. Out of confidence Sorry he had you. when he tore off there. <laughs> Sorry about your mower, bud. It's okay. <laughs> Are you good? Are you good? Yeah. I haven't seen Evan fall this much since Gold Creek. Evan, man, I just don't think you're much of a lawnmower. I think you need to hire. Yeah, dude, I'm hiring out. For Is a that lawnmower. what you call somebody that mows the lawn? They are the lawn mower? They're a lawn mower, yeah. Dude, it's gotta be what it's like trying to do a wheelie on a Harley Davidson. <laughs> Just an unnecessary amount of weight. Well boys, what do you say we get this party started? Go wake Mike up. <laughs> what are we feeling today? Firecrackers, hose. We could tar and feather him. We could go to the pool and get a large group of men and then they could teabag him. Yeah. That'd be fun. Uh, that seems a little far. <laughs> it's hard to teach an old dog new tricks. 
What if we cheese like waking up before cheese? We throw yeah. Slices of cheese what does that mean? Throw cheese on his face and then he's be oh. funny. That's a great idea. So you you have experience cheesing? Oh, I've been cheesed many times. I mean, I could hear you guys talking. You guys should have taken a, like, the new RC car and done like a burnout on my face. Oh, that's <laughs> a good idea, damn it. <laughs> you guys forgot we even had this thing. God damn it, this thing looks so funny. Bro, I love this thing. It looks awesome, dude. It really does, it doesn't drive the best, doesn't really do anything good, but it looks relatively good. To be fair, it didn't really start out driving the best either, so. That's true, we didn't have a good platform to build on. Let's go down to the track and find some mud. I'm not actually gonna jump this, are you? Did not go as planned at all. You're definitely stuck, bro. Yeah, can I get a pull, Ryan? Ryan looks super ready to give you a pull. much suspension in a smart car. <laughs> I did not mean to hit that! <laughs> These smart cars are some of the most indestructible vehicles on the road as we've found out before. You can unload them from the back of a pickup truck you can pick them up by a crane, jump it into a pool. On top of them. That what? Was one of their ads. They had a suburban on top of it. If we could park the smart car on top of the van, that'd be unreal. I think we could. Might be sketchy getting it up there. The only thing is, if you fall, it's like a really long fall just directly to your side. Yeah. yeah at that point, you'd probably fall yeah, onto your right. Roof. And we could have everybody else on the edge holding it. Here. Sorry fellas, I think there might be a van in the radiator. I can't say I didn't see this coming. Actually, I, I think it might be good. It's just a little water. We got a little body gap though. Keep going up! Okay, Yep, straight down. Now that we have that up there, should we just build? 
build the jump and the landing up higher? Oh, and have the tabletop be the top of the smart bro? car now? This is like a pyramid. There's a oh, tap. Uh, I think that looks good. It's nice. I like it. Picasso. Never been to a chiropractor before. He needs the FS smart car job. You can sit. He said. Oh, he's gonna manually adjust them. Well, she's been doing the notes. Kind of nervous. <laughs> Good. Oh wow. Oh. 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 Dude, it felt pretty good. <laughs> Climb off the table, Evan. Yeah. There's a seat right here. Oh, dude. Just drop that shoulder. Oh my god! <laughs> Way better than a nipple piercing. Oh! Show Deb your uh, accessory. <laughs> you got one too? It's not as nice as his. How, why did you have to get that? Hot dog eating? Yeah. With so who? I, uh, Ken. So well, you would take him ears. on? How many hot dogs do you think Ken ate in 10 minutes? 52. <laughs> <laughs> right? He got like 2.5. Boy, you guys just went on Pierce Patrol, didn't you? Yeah, we did. Everybody's uh, getting one yeah. for something or other. For oh. something, yeah, by the end of the summer. Dude, that felt great. Did it? Yes. Good. You it's probably really needed good. that, dude. Well, I haven't had one in 29 years. A little shop update for you guys. We got builds going all over the place. Mike, what are you throwing on? Rear bumper, front bumper, exhaust? Yeah. Yeah. And then Ryan, bumper on the TRX, right? Yeah. Addictive Desert Designs hooked it up with this bomber bumper. Oh. It's a freaking beast. Skid plate included, it's gonna be legit. But yeah, so I got the bumper and then some lights and stuff to wire up. So it was a two hour project in the instruction manual. So it should only take like eight. Perfect. The truck looks like six inches taller. That's what I was excited for actually, is I knew how much it would like raise the front of it up because the bumper used to be pretty low. All right guys, want to give a huge shout out to ADD. They make bumpers for your Bronco, your Raptor, your F-250, your Duramax, even your Wrangler, and of course the TRX. It totally completed the look I was going for. So a huge shout out to them for hooking it up and helping me out on the project.